Hello friends, welcome back, hope you're doing well. Today I'm in Luminar Neo, and if you've been here before, you know I love shooting at and editing photos from the edges of the day. These are the times of day when the soft is light and kind of moody and you really get some nice colors and things like that. So this is like the sunsets, the golden hours, the twilights and blue hours. But you know, sunset and golden hour tend to get all the glory. I personally find that the mood and the shadow and things like that that happen around the twilight times of day are absolutely fantastic and beautiful and you can communicate that in your photos really well if you use the right tools. Speaking of tools, as you probably know, Twilight Enhancer AI was added to Luminar a number of months ago. Since that time I've been experimenting and trying to really refine how I use that tool and I'm proud to announce and release today my preset pack called Twilight Moods. Every one of the presets, and there's eight in this pack, they're built specifically with Twilight Enhancer included along with other tools to really dial in specific looks that will help you get the most out of those edits. That's available for sale on my website now. There's a link down below. I'm gonna walk you through a few demonstrations of these tools, show you what they look like. I've got three different images here. Let me walk you through that. Of course, you probably know that in order to add a preset pack, you just go to File and Add Luminar Preset Collection, and that will show up then over here in on the Presets tab under Purchased, right? So under Purchased, you can see, uh, if you click that, you can see all the different packs. Here's Twilight Moods, and these are all my other packs, of course. I have quite a few of them, some for free, and of course, some that I sell on my website. But Twilight Moods is my new one, and there's eight presets uh, named uh, Twilight 1 through Twilight 8, so nothing really original there, but hopefully it'll allow you to memorize which looks you like the best. But as these are used on this photo, I think you'll see how well it communicates the use of Twilight Enhancer AI. Okay, this photo was obviously taken in London at sunset, and so this is a good demonstration of how the kind of golden hour and sunset looks come to play with uh, this preset pack. Twilight 1, you can see as I hover what the different looks look like. There's some big differences between some of these uh, presets and some uh, minor differences between others. That one looks really nice here. That one's really warm and golden. It also pulls back the highlights quite a bit. I like that one. This one's really fantastic. That's very similar to actually how I would edit the photo. And of course, some warm ones. And uh, this one's got a nice blend of the cool and the warm. Let's say I did something like that. If it's a little bit strong, and I do make my presets kind of strong because you have the ability to ratchet them back, you can just pull that down a little bit. And still, you end up with a photo that's massively edited in just essentially one click and a small drag of the slider. I want to show you a couple other examples. Okay, while well, that last photo was a good example of both a cityscape and kind of a golden hour, this is a landscape on the Oregon coast. It's past sunset, so golden hour is kind of faded. You can see the sun is already essentially descended behind the hills. There's a little bit of golden light left, but I want you to see what these presets will do for this photo. Now, I do like my magenta. These, these two have a little bit of that magenta look in it, but look at that. That's right down the kind of middle, if you will, uh, bringing up a little bit of the cool, a little bit of the warm as well. I love this one. It brings a lot of that warmth back. I think Twilight 5 looks good. Twilight 6 is almost exactly how I edited this photo. The first time I ever edited this photo, uh, a number of years ago, way before Twilight Enhancer AI was even available. That's very much what I would do to this photo. And then this one nice and warm, and that one's got a nice balanced look as well. There's just so much power and control here, and I love what it does. And I want you to also see this photo from Venice, because what it does to this photo, I think, just looks absolutely incredible. Okay, this is a shot from Venice, of course. The sky's blown out, it's fairly boring, but these presets really give it a new life, which I absolutely love. Bringing up the magenta tones with these first couple of presets with some slight alterations in the light. This one, again, kind of middle of the road, like nice balance of color and light. This one with a nice pop of warmth. I really love what it's doing to the sky there and how that's bringing up the warm colors in the buildings as well. This one's a little bit more blue hour. This one's pretty vibrant, and I like it. I love the warmth of this one. And of course, this Twilight 8, nice balance there with some warm and cool tones, kind of that color tension that I like to talk about. I think, honestly, I'd probably go with Twilight 7 for this one. Now, keep in mind, every time you have a preset, you can click on Edit, and then you go over here to the Edits tab in the Editing window, and you've got all these different tools here. You can see what's comprised, uh, you know, what tools comprise this preset. And of course, you can go in and then uh, adjust them as much as you want to if you feel like you need to. But this one click has given me a huge, huge difference in my photo. Saved me a ton of time. And that's the power of these presets and also Twilight Enhancer AI. Again, every one of these presets has Twilight Enhancer AI included and they're optimized for use with it. 
and I know you're going to love them. They're available now on my website down below. Leave me a comment if you have any questions about this. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the presets. Appreciate the support. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, adios.